Here's the third example of how we work with word problems, combining things, and this is part of Lesson 3C in Algebra. Uh, let's read the problem. It says a bank teller has 180 bills in the drawer consisting of $20 bills and $10 bills. If the total cash value is $3,050, how many of each type of bill are in the drawer? All right, so let's start defining. Let's say let x equal. Now, what should we let it equal to? Well, we have two different kinds of bills, and so we can let x equal the number of, let's say, $20 bills. So let x equal the number of $20 bills. Then how do we express the number of $10 bills? Well, we, we're told there's a total of 180 bills, so the total minus x will be the number of $10 bills. So 180, that's the total, minus the number of bills that are x, that are $20 bills, equal the number of $10 bills. Okay, now we're ready to set up an equation. We're told that the total cash value is $3,050. So the value of the $20 bills plus the value of the $10 bills equals $3,050. So the dollar value of the $20 bills plus the dollar value of the $10 bills has to add up to $3,050. Okay, so how do we find the value of the $20 bills? Well, we take the value of each bill and we multiply it times the total number of bills. So that means that $20, which is the value for each bill, times the number of bills, and we have x of them, so x times 20 will give you the total value of the $20 bills. Add to that the value of the $10 bills, which is $10, times the number of $10 bills that we have, which is 180 minus x. And so the value of the $20 bills plus the value of the $10 bills must add up to the total value for all the bills of $3,050. All right, now we go ahead and solve that. First, let's get rid of the parentheses. So 20 times x is 20x plus 10 times 180 is 1,800, and plus 10 times minus x, that's not a plus, that would be a minus 10x. So we multiply the 10 by both the 180 and the minus x, and that must equal what's on the right side, the equal sign, which is 3,050. Now the next step is to move all the terms of the x to one side, all the numbers to the other side. So we have 20x minus 10x on the left side equals 3,050, and when we move the 1,800 across, minus 1,800, because the sign changes when we cross the equal sign. And so on the left side, we end up with 10x equals, on the right side, that would be 1,250. So now we divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, that cancels out, and x equals 125. Now we'll go back and see what x was defined as. x was defined as the number $20, $20 bills, which means we had 125 $20 bills, and 180 minus 25, that is hmm, 55, okay, that means there were 55 $10 bills, 55 plus 125 is 180, and that's probably the answer. All right, that's how you do a problem like that.